Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm reviewing the homepage of VirginiaTerhar.com. Uh, Dr. Terhar is a psychotherapist and psychoanalyst based in Portland, Oregon, and, uh, and this is the website that she uses as the digital homepage of her practice. This is her virtual storefront. So when people are wondering, uh, should I book an appointment with her? Is she the right therapist for me? This is where they come to check her out. And uh, I'm going to talk about four things that I like and four things that I would improve about this homepage. And the first thing that I like is, the, uh, is that the logo is really nicely designed. Uh, it's got this uh, uh, really nice uh, icon next to it. Uh, the font is, uh, it, it's not too distracting. And I like how the gray in the bottom matches up with uh, the width of her name. And it leaves out the doctor as something separate. And so this is the first thing that I like about the web website is, is the logo. Uh, we've got another grayer version of it down here. And I, I like brains. I think brains are cool. So I, I'd actually like to see uh, some of these squares. I think they might be icons that are missing. I I think brains here might be good, um, or, or, or something other than squares. It looks like they're placeholders. Um, but anyway, uh, to continue with the things that I like about this homepage, the second thing I like is the navigation. Navigation is really clean and clear. Uh, she's got uh, up top, instead of having a different choices where to go, she's got the things that her, her clients are going to be most interested in. Her address, her phone number and hours, and, uh, and and how to contact her. So those are the, not only is this really clean, but it's it's uh, it's keeping people from getting confused with a lot of other options. Uh, there's some uh, a good navigation here on the side and uh, in the footer as well as the forms that people are going to be looking for. And so this is a really good example of how to have clean, well thought out navigation. When a user comes to the site, what is it that they want to get? And how can we easily provide that for them? This is a fantastic example of how to do that. So that's the second thing I like is the clean navigation. Uh, the third thing that I like is a, a really good stock photo here, right up top, that uh, that helps someone who's uh, facing problems that Virginia can solve. Uh, th th this is what they want to look like. They want to have a happy family. And when somebody is facing a problem, seeing a photo of people enjoying the solution is a great way to entice them to find out more. So that's the third thing I like is, uh, is the stock photo right here. And the fourth thing that I like is the copy on the home page. Uh, it immediately addresses the main problem that looking for a therapist can be a daunting task and how it's a personal relationship. And so somebody who's looking for a therapist comes here, they automatically get empathy that, uh, that the problems that they're facing and trying to figure out who's going to be the right therapist, they're, uh, they're encouraged that this is daunting and that there's a, an easy process to get through it. And this is somebody who can help. And the bios were written really well and, uh, and it really establishes her credibility. So that's the fourth thing that I like about the homepage is the copy. Uh, but the first thing that I would improve about this homepage is the layout of the copy. There's a lot of dead space right here. Uh, this open, uh, this, this, I don't know if it's because the excerpt isn't the right amount or because there's supposed to be another post right here um, or because the bio is too long, but uh, you know, th this is just a whole bunch of empty wasted space right here on the homepage. Um, and I'd, I'd have, instead of having a square headshot right here, uh, I'd have a circle headshot right above the name that continues with the white background in a square so that um, she's not seen to be part of the background of the website, but rather she's, you know, she's pushed forward as the star because that's what she is. She's the star of this site. So that's the first thing that I would improve is, is the layout of these elements right here. The second thing I would improve is this is actually a slider. And these slider buttons don't go anywhere, so it's a slider with one image. And it's, it's going to drag down the page uh, speed to have to load all the infrastructure for a slider right here without having any of the slider function. It's just wasted load time. And so I would pull out the slider and just embed the, the header image by itself. So that's the second thing I would improve is, is I would just take out the slider completely. Uh, the third thing I would improve is uh, for SEO purposes, I would have a blog and social media that are linked here on the homepage, even if it's just in the footer. Uh, some simple social media accounts on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't take that long to set up. I've, I'm actually putting together a DIY course right now where it only takes an hour to set up universal uh, profiles on all those platforms. And then linking to all those platforms down here 
and having those plot those uh, social media accounts link back to this website web page uh, it's it's important backlinks because having social media platforms like facebook.com and twitter.com all these websites that re have really high website ranking having them linked to this website is good for SEO and having uh, regularly updated content from a blog the publishing regular articles that makes this homepage dynamic would be really good. It would be a great, great thing to put here in, um, uh, in this open space is, uh, is two or three articles from the blog. Uh, and that's the third thing that I would improve about this website is I would install a content management system. Uh, looking at the code, this is just a straight HTML website. And it's, uh, I think that a lot of the design difficulties are because it's limited to the HTML template and any edits have to completely revise the template. Whereas if there was a content management system or a CMS like WordPress or Squarespace or, or any kind of CMS where um, Dr. Terhar, as the user, could go in and update content and create content easily, I think that it would make this a much more dynamic website. It would rank better in search engines and uh, and it would just be a lot more pleasant to read so those are the four things that i like and four things that i would improve about virginiatearhar.com if you would like to have your own homepage reviewed by stellar platforms there's a link in the uh, description below thanks so much